It's finally happened. Something I was very, 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 very vocal about, particular about, and intensely passionate about has happened. One good thing about the lockdown. Exams. Cancelled. Gone. And yet, in spite of cancellation of exams, ladies and gentlemen, my friends, in spite of the fact that 10th and 12th students are not giving their exams, there will be perhaps a larger number in the time to come of some amazing scientists, some great actors, some wonderful composers, some amazing entrepreneurs, some outstanding philanthropists, some extraordinary poets or whatever. Everybody will still become what they have to without the exams. Earlier it was the same with yet this diabolical creature called the exam, the devil, was taking away two precious years of the youth which could have been spent on something more constructive. All that energy going into stress could have gone into productivity. Let me give you an example. I got a call from a very dear friend to say something amazing. To say that a miracle was being witnessed by him. And what is that miracle? His son, who just hated studies because they were imposed on him, subjects that he had no connection with, content that had no relevance. The was the capital of the Harappan culture, meaningless, stupid facts we are stuffing our uh, young people with, which are available now at the tap of our finger. So he said to me, this wonderful young man who just hated his books and had to be forced to study, he had tutors coming and he, well, he was the um, uh, subject of our discussion on several occasions. And I used to tell him, don't you worry, this boy's time will come. And he, when he does what he likes to do, and he, when he finds his niche and something that interests him, watch, this boy will produce wonders. And he said to me, you know what, till his exams <clears throat> were looming on our heads, he just wouldn't touch, come anywhere near his study table. He had to be forced. We had to take any, many kinds of action. And for the past many days, I see him sitting on his study table and actually studying. I said, what is he studying? And he said, he is preparing for the entrance exam of the course of his choice, which happens to be performing arts. And I said, wow, do you know what I meant? He said, yes, now I get your point. So this is what I mean to you. Find that inner strength that calling, your inner voice will tell you, there are many ways. Find what you are good at, find what you want to do, do what you like to do and life will never be the same. So my young friends, the time has come, pour all your energy, like the example I gave you, that boy will do wonders, I know that, into what you love to do and do what you love love what you do. Your time has come. Good luck and God bless you all.